Welcome to the Jerky Wrangler. We're here in front of the Champion Lodgepole Pine Tree, over 440 years old. It's an amazing tree. It's up here in uh, Big Bear Lake, California, and it's really an amazing thing to see. And when you're at a beautiful spot like this, it's nice to bring along, you got it, your jerky. And here we have this, uh, this time is a chef's cut. They call it real jerky, and we'll find out if that's true or not. But uh, this, this, this jerky off the bat, it mentions that it has no nitrates, no preservatives. It's a good thing. But we're going to give this piece a try and just see how real it really is. So here's a piece here. And uh, it's a tender jerky. But it's not, um, and it's fairly moist, but there is no residue, so it's still considered a dry jerky. But it's really tender. I mean, it's really bendable and everything. But you can tell that this is this was sliced from a piece of steak. I mean, you can clearly see the cut on it. It wasn't just a manufactured jerky uh, in that part of being like chopped and formed or anything like that. Not at all with this jerky. This is from a real piece of steak. But uh, let's give it this uh, a try here. You know, that was effortless bite to that jerky. So if you're a person that likes a, a dry jerky, but you know, not wet, then um, and one that is very moist and tender, this is a jerky to get. This is really something else. Now, flavor-wise, it has a prominent um, soy sauce flavor. I can taste uh, Worcestershire sauce. Also, there's a, a fairly prominent flavoring of, a, of like hickory smoke, liquid smoke flavor. So that's kind of the flavors going on here. It's, uh, it's, there's, there's other flavors too in here. I mean, there's a little bit of a taste, some garlic, some onion, some anchovy. That is really tender. I mean, it just, it literally melts in your mouth. No effort at all to eat this. They, they really must have marinated it a long time. They started out with a quality piece of meat, marinated it a long time, and then put it through that drying process. Well, Chef's Cut, when you said you're real jerky, you know what you are. You guys had it right. I'm going to give these guys an 8 on the scale of 1 to 10. It's a pretty good jerky. So anyways, if next time you're at a beautiful location like this with a champion lodgepole pine tree behind you, don't forget your jerky. Whether you're on the trail or on the road, remember the jerky wrangler.